29, the age that I turned during my trip to London for my birthday this year. This was an incredible trip for me, and I'm happy to be sharing it with you guys. But just know the week up until my trip, I was dealing with an immense amount of anxiety, and it kind of all just hit me at once, this immense joy of doing something so exciting that I made happen all on my own. That joy was layered with so much grief about things that I've been through this past year and that's the funny thing about grief is that you never know when to expect it. So I felt all my emotions. I had this deep catharsis and then I had a lovely plane ride with no hiccups and soon enough I was in London living out this dream trip that I had made happen all on my own and I was proud of myself. I replaced that anxiety with curiosity and I'm so glad I was able to do that because it made my trip so much more exciting. I think that's a beautiful thing. Sometimes when we're feeling heavy things and they start to bubble over, we need to just allow ourselves space to feel them, get through the emotions and ride the wave so that we can come out on the other side and feel lighter, which is what I felt. I felt so much lighter and I was able to really take in this trip for everything that it was. And for seven beautiful days, I was able to enjoy one of my favorite cities in the world. As you should. <laughs> there was this quirky old man moaning, <laughs> and I was like, oh. to get my water. Oh, I was gonna say I'm I'm gonna schedule an Uber. For oh yeah. Okay, you guys, I have finally awoken from the dead. It's day one. And this whole day has been kind of a wash and I'm talking quietly because I don't know if anyone else is here in the house But I just had dinner and went to the grocery store to get a few essentials and to get um, Some medicine because I really have not been feeling well today. I'm feeling better now, but it's just like a precaution that I'm gonna take But while I was there, I needed toothpaste and look what I found it's the pink toothpaste like you can only get this here and it was two pounds it's just kind of fun and weird and i know it's made by bear but still this is so cool do you hear how quiet it is like this is insane also they have like police cameras on the buildings like America could never. You'll probably hear that because my window's open. Let me give you a little tour. I wanted to show you guys some Polaroids I took earlier. I don't know if you can see. The view from my room, I took it on this and it was way too overexposed, but I was thinking about it and I've had 
Oh, I've had my Polaroid camera for nine, no, 10 years. And the first time I took it abroad was when I came to England and Wales. So that was just a really cool thing to think about. Um, I think I'm gonna make some tea and do my skincare routine and then maybe watch a little bit of... Oh, I feel like watching a show. So I might watch a show on my laptop and then kind of wind down and get ready for bed. And then I'm gonna get up early tomorrow and we're gonna go to Greg's and we're gonna get a coffee and we're gonna go to the National History Museum. And I'm super excited. but I don't know I think just being in a different time zone in another country and everything and I was really cold so our mission for today is to buy a sweater I don't know where honestly I saw one at what's the grocery store here Morrison's it like a men's sweater for 12 pounds but honestly would have done but I'm gonna see if I can find a nicer one just to be cozy because I only brought one sweater and it's dirty so I'm just getting ready I'm actually running a little bit behind I need to catch the bus at like 9 30 so we have about an hour um but yeah I just I have to be in Kensington by 10 30 put this blazer on because I'm by a window and it's so chilly also, there's no good place to put you guys. Or maybe I can put you right here. No. Okay. like making my foundation peel and I'm not happy about it. So I haven't even told you guys what I'm doing. I am going to 
season. So that's gonna be like an all day affair. And then I'm gonna kinda pop around Kensington and just have a look around, some areas that I wanna see. And then I'm also um, gonna look for a sweater and maybe a USB cord. <laughs> How beautiful these houses are. This one has like a really wonky staircase. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's so beautiful. So quintessentially British. I love it. Hello, I am back from my lovely day in Kensington and I thought we could do a little haul. My eyes look a little crazy because I went to the Chanel counter in Harrods because I've been wanting a Chanel palette um, and I let the lady try it on me to make sure that this color was right but I think she kind of like <laughs> overdid it on me. Like I have almond eyes, you can't go all the way up. <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to show you what I got really quick and then change out of these clothes because I feel disgusting. So I've got a bottle of water. I like this. This is a water I've never seen before and it has minerals in it. So I've been getting this at the local shop. And then I had to get a Coke Zero vanilla. Just a little treat. And some cheeky chocolate, but this is what I got at here. I knew they put samples in here. Yay! Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy your stay. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Have fun once again. Thank you. She gave me a cream, and then she gift wrapped my palette. And then she gave me a serum and a Camilo water cream. I'm excited to try these. I actually really enjoy Chanel. I actually really enjoy Chanel skincare. I didn't think I would, but they, it's really great. Um, I have an eye cream from them that I really enjoy. So that's the only shopping I did today. Um, it was mostly a exploring, museum heavy kind of thing. Um, 
so yeah now i think i'm just gonna rest and do some editing on my book i need to shower desperately so i'm gonna have a shower and all that hi future me here just wanting to pop on to say that this is day three I got up super early so I could go to Notting Hill because it was kind of far from where I was staying. And this is the day that I realized that I did not have a way to charge the battery of my camera. So everything else is gonna be on the iPhone from here on out, which isn't terrible, but definitely sucks that I didn't bring a converter for my battery charger. And I was not about to buy one because at this point I had already had to buy um, a portable phone charger, a new USB cord, just like all the things when you're traveling that you don't really think about um, needing when you're like out and about, so. Also, I wanted to say, you can tell that I'm like extremely tired in this video because I A, have been consuming way too much dairy on this trip and B, um, I think the night before was the night that um, I started to hear foxes outside climbing around on the roof next to my window and it scared the living daylights out of me. Um, I couldn't sleep because I thought there was a person just like crawling around the front garden or something. I don't know why I thought that but yeah I had a really hard time sleeping through the night from here on out until I realized that it was foxes but even even knowing it's foxes, it just sounds so creepy to be woken up at three in the morning for every single night and just hearing animals like crawling around. But I had to keep the windows open because at this point in my trip, it had started actually warming up and I was on the second story. So I was super hot at night and I had only brought long sleeve pajamas. So I just thought I would throw that in there. <laughs>
So this is Kensington Palace and I walked so far to get here and my feet were killing me. I was ex still exhausted from the night before and I get to the little queue only to realize that um, it was sold out. They only let in like 25 people a day or something like that and I didn't purchase a ticket because I didn't think about it and I was super bummed because I knew I would not be coming back here um, because it was really a pain from where I was staying to get to this place like I had to take two different buses and then get on the tube and then switch tubes and it was just a lot and yeah so I was like well I'm not gonna come back here uh, so I might as well just walk the rest of the grounds and kind of enjoy the sights. It was really warm this day too, which was unfortunate. And honestly, I just ended up getting so tired and cranky that I went back home. I had walked like 14,000 steps in the course of like three hours or four hours. And it was just, it was a lot and I was starving and I didn't want to go too far off course. So yeah, I took the bus um, back home wasn't even gonna bother with the tube like I just I could not be bothered so I just took a 40 minute bus back to Brentford and had some fish and chips and took a fat nap Unfortunately, my camera battery died, and so now I have to charge on my phone or film on my phone because I don't have a way to charge. Like I don't have an adapter. Yeah. Um. That's what we're dealing with. I also woke up to a text from Darren saying that I guess Israel declared war. There's nothing about flights being canceled other than to Tel Aviv. So that was not a fun thing to wake up to. I also woke up late because I stayed up late. And I mean, I know I needed the sleep, so I'm glad that I did, but now I'm kind of running behind and don't have extra time before I have to be at my reservation. So I'm going to get ready really fast and then head into town and hopefully find some coffee nearby before I eat, but yeah, I'm just getting ready. but luckily it's gonna be very warm today and it's already warm so and of course I went to the wrong bus stop but that's okay because I'm leaving like an hour early so that I have time to kind of like get settled and for stuff like this so I'm so used to going to this one bus stop um to get like to and from my Airbnb that I keep forgetting about the buses like in the little neighborhood, like the actual like square and main street. So that's where we're headed to now. Such a beautiful day. Everything's gonna be good. I am safe, I am protected by my angels, and I'm gonna enjoy my trip and not worry about anything to do with getting home or what's happening in the world, which might sound a little out of taste to say, but honestly, I deserve to not be worried about something while well, I'm trying to enjoy something. And that was my bus.
apartment was a full-on mess. Um, there are like delays and closures and I got off at the wrong stop or something, I don't know. And so now I'm like 15 minutes late. So we'll see if they still let me in for my reservation. yesterday yesterday I was pooped I think I walked way more yesterday um but I also got up a lot earlier yesterday and today I woke up way too late my sleep is just all over the place but I cannot wake up late tomorrow because I only have three days left and I want to make the most of it and I feel like now that I've been here long enough to know kind of what I like and don't like about my day and like places that I want to go. Um, I'll be able to kind of slow down and enjoy the rest of this time. So tomorrow I think I'm going to do a little bit of shopping. And I went into Uniqlo to get this white t-shirt because I was just so hot. It was like 75 today. And I know that's not hot, but when a lot of places don't have air conditioning, especially the tube and the bus, like, and then you're walking for miles. It just, I got so sweaty and yeah, I just needed something fresh to change into. So yeah. Um, so yeah, tomorrow too, I'm wearing... Oh, it's gonna be another warmer day and the only outfit I have clean because I just do not want to wear pants when it's this hot I'm gonna wear this like the maxi dress that um this black maxi dress that I showed you guys in my packing video with um a blazer and just pray that it's not sweltering but even if it is I could take the blazer off now the only thing is like walking and carrying a jacket is just not it's not the vibe. It's not fun. So, yeah, anyway, I want to hang out in a cafe as well and work on editing my book. And then I'm supposed to be meeting my friend Caitlin, but she hasn't gotten back to me. So I don't know if that's a for sure thing, but I really do hope that I get to meet up with her. So, yeah, that's all I've got for you. Um, It's nine o'clock. So I'm probably going to wind down, take my makeup off and everything. And then I'll probably try to do a little bit of editing and then maybe watch some, some, some TV and then be off to sleep. So I'll see you tomorrow.
did not sleep well at all. As you can probably tell from my voice, it's 10.30 and I meant to get up at 7. But I could not sleep because, you know, there's no air conditioning here. And so at night, like, I've been sleeping with the windows open um, because there's, because oh, there's a large comforter on my bed. And so it gets a little warm, not like hot, just warm. So like you want a cool breeze. And um, anyway, so I heard, I was hearing something and honestly the night before I heard something too, but I was like so dead asleep that I just like left it um, because I've been going to bed earlier, but these last two nights I've been staying up late. Anyway, so I finally heard it again and I could not get to sleep because I swore I heard it sounded like it sounded like somebody was like walking around outside because my um, window overlooks like the front entryway and anyway so I was tossing and not tossing turning I was literally up until I was literally up until like 3 a.m. Um, I called Darren. I was scared. And then I realized at like almost four that it was coming from upstairs, not outside. But it still sounded really scary. Um, it was like a rustling and like somebody walking on pebbles or sand or something. And I think that there's just like an upstairs area that I don't know about. And either A, like animals had gotten in the roof or something or somebody was awake up there, which I don't think that's the case because there's only three of us here and it seems like we all go to bed at a very decent hour. So yeah, I think an animal had just gone in the, what's it called? Not the roof, not the basement. I forgot, I'm so tired. Anyway, I'm really bummed because I wanted to go have English breakfast this morning. And I like specifically was going to stay in town so I don't have to travel far from where. So I don't have to travel far from where I want to stay today. Like I want to stay in Kensington. Um, so yeah, that really bummed me out. Also the lighting in here is really good so it makes me think I'm probably going to think I have on too much makeup or something. Anyway, I hope that they're still serving breakfast, and if they're not, I'll just make do because you can't, not everything in life can be planned, am I right, guys? You gotta look on the bright side once in a while, and that's what I'm choosing to do because I'm in London, so. been just doing my makeup in my room because it's natural lighting but I wanted to do like one little clip in here just to change it up and because it is so nice in here I, I love how it looks I need these kind of lights in my house so anyway I think I also might do like a little bit of shopping today because it is towards the end of my trip and I've not really bought anything um, I've only bought like essentials and I saw these trousers at Uniqlo that I really like um, and there's a little bit of a price difference but honestly I don't think I could find them online I looked last night and either I just can't tell what they are or they're only a UK thing so I really want those for fall Okay, I've actually decided to, I've actually decided to change into this because I think I'm just gonna get way too hot. I'm just making sure it looks okay. 
There's no full length mirrors in here. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like this better for today. So I decided I'm just gonna go to this cafe that I love instead of trying that new place because I will, it's like a 13 minute walk. And I know I'm gonna be walking all day. I don't wanna walk that far to a place I haven't tried when I know that this place is really good, so. sad but um yeah I'm starting to get to the point why is my camera doing that I'm starting to get to the point where I'm like getting tired and frustrated just with all the commuting um I got lost twice today only because I think well one of the lines wasn't running which was weird um, so that was confusing me and it's like, once I know how to get to a place, I know how to get there just one way. And like, obviously I'm in another country. So like, yeah, we don't expect, I don't expect myself to learn like, oh, well, let me just take this other route when I'm still learning the current route. Anyway, so there was a delay, there was a cancellation. And then on my way back, I got on the wrong tube. I don't even know how, like... I could have sworn it was the right platform and I just thought I, I don't know I'm like getting east and west confused because I'm just memorizing the names of stops and I need to memorize like which way is which to the stop um but I I got I got off and I, then I figured out because typically if you know if you know what platform you need to be on, it's gonna put you the right direction. So I just figured out like, oh, I need to be on, if I'm on this platform, it'll take me, it'll take me there no matter what, because the end, the, like where it stops is the Heathrow airport. So if I'm on the tube that takes you all the way to terminals one through five of the airport, then I'm on I'm heading the right way which I can't even tell you now is it east or west I don't know but yeah I have two days left I have two days left and I can't decide like if I just want to hang out here and work on my book or if I want to venture into the city because I'm gonna tell you right now <laughs> my feet are killing me it's warmer here than I expected so I'm like dripping sweat on the tube and I don't know, I'm just like pooped. I'm so pooped. Um, so I don't know, yeah, it's supposed to be warm again tomorrow. So I might just stay here, stay in town. And I mean, everything I need is here and just enjoy the garden and do some writing. And then um, maybe on my last day, cause it's supposed to be cold. I will venture in and do the last few things that are on my list, which really is only, um, oh my God, if you could see the blisters on my feet from yesterday and like how swollen my, my feet are, 
Um, the only thing left that I want to do is borough market. And I mean, obviously it's going to take a lot of walking and it's a place I haven't been before. Like there's potential to get lost. So I just don't think I'm feeling up for that tomorrow. Also, I, yeah, I think I just need to like lay low tomorrow and maybe just explore the town, like this neighborhood a little bit better in this borough. But for now, I'm hanging up laundry. This is my towel. I'm going, I'm waiting on my Uber Eats to get here because I could not be bothered to walk into town. But yeah, I'm waiting on my Uber Eats and then I'm just gonna chill, eat my food, and watch some Netflix. I lie on you.